Hi, Suzanne from Flat Wearable Artisan Jewelry. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to assemble your hollow knife into making pens. And we just received in our brand new pen tips. And these were made for us exclusively. You will not find them anywhere but Flat Wearable Artisan Jewelry. And they are the perfect addition for making your hollow knife pens. So I showed in a previous video how to remove the blade from the hollow knife handle. So I'm not going to go over that information again. If you're unfamiliar with that information, I would suggest you go onto our YouTube page and check the video on how to make a stylus pen. And there is um, a section in that, in the beginning of that video on how to do that, how to uh, take that blade out of the knife handle. So we're going to start from that point right there. And so you've got your knife handle released from the blade and you're going to have to round out that opening so it will accept the pen tip. And the easiest way to do that is to place your knife handle into a vise and you're going to use what we recommend as a 3 8 inch punch and you're going to tap the punch down and you're going to test fit until you get just the right fit for the pen tip. Now I'm finding that if you go, if you have the yellow punch here, if you go right to the yellow mark, usually it's just about the perfect opening. Okay. Um, one thing to keep in mind is when you go to round these openings out, there is always a possibility of splitting the knife down the side where the seam is. One of the ways that you can prevent that from happening, other than going very slow and very carefully, is if you heat this area up, warm it up first with a torch, then quench it, then try to open it up, it makes this area more pliable and easier for it to take that round shape without creating that split. Okay, so we've got that opened up, and what we're going to do is we're going to create what I'm calling a universal refill and it's going to fit 99% of the knife handles about the only time you're going to find one one of these universal um, inserts and refill um, combinations is something if you're going to have some really really short uh, knife handle and in that case you're going to have to custom fit that to your um, to the fit of the, um, the little one that you're working on but what I've come up with here is going to fit 99% of what you're going to do. So the refill, when you order it, you're going to receive two parts. You're going to receive a piece of tubing and you're going to receive the refill itself. And what you want to do is you need to heat seal one end of this tubing. And how we're going to do that is we're going to pinch the end and we're going to use our little mini micro torch. We're going to heat the plastic right on the very end there and then pinch it and hold it until it cools. Okay, so that's now sealed and it will look like this. Sometimes you're not going to be able to get this down inside because it flares a little bit wide there. If you take a pair of scissors and you just trim off that little edge on either side, that'll help it fit better. And it should be able to fit in there just fine. We chose this tubing specifically because it fits very well inside most of all of the pens and it fits perfectly inside of the adapter and the pen tip. So once you've got that sealed there, you're going to put it into the bottom of the pen tip. So you're going to fit the tube inside of the adapter and you want to make sure you're putting it in the right direction. The threads are facing up. You're going to put it in where the larger area of the adapter is. Okay. Then you're going to put that down inside of the knife handle. Now you're not going to glue just yet because you're going to make sure everything fits properly. This tube is four inches long. You're going to take your refill and you're going to cut your refill to four and five eighths inches long. 
that is just between four and a half and four and three quarters inches. Before you cut, you need to seal this tube. And the way you do that is with a pair of chain nose pliers, make sure you have the kind with a serrated interior in the jaws. The flat does not work as well. So you're gonna pinch. I've already marked that where four and five eighths is. And I'm gonna give that a good hard pinch right there. Then I'm going to cut on that mark. And I'm gonna remove this lower portion of the refill. Okay, so if you have any ink that comes out, you can just dab that with a paper towel. Give it another squeeze just to make sure that you have it sealed. You don't want ink linking down inside of the pen. You're also gonna prep additional refills for if your customers want to purchase uh, refills from you okay so now we're just going to test fit everything and make sure it all works together if you've cut everything properly this should go together just fine so we're going to screw the pointed part of the cap on there and we have a really nice good fit there okay so take this apart and make sure you see where your plastic tube is. If your plastic tube is right up at the top, that's where you're gonna glue it to. If the plastic tube moved down a little bit, because maybe you cut your, your uh, refill just a little bit off, you wanna make sure it stays glued in that area. Wherever it landed, when you test fit, is where you wanna keep it. Mine stayed right up at the top there. But like I said, if your pen refill is a little bit too long and that moved down slightly, you want to make sure you're going to glue it in place there. Okay, so after you've test fit everything, you're going to glue the tube inside the adapter for the pen tip. And the reason for that is it's not going to be able to be pushed away um, with use of the pen. If you don't glue that in place, when somebody goes to use the pen over time and pushes on the refill, the refill is going to push up inside the handle. And you definitely don't want that to happen. Okay, so I've glued that in. Now I'm going to put glue on the outer edge here. And this is going to glue the adapter into the hollow knife. Put that all in there. And you're going to wipe off any excess glue that you might have. You're going to want to hold that for a minute or so to make sure it all glues properly. Sometimes they slide down in there really nice and you don't have to do a lot of pressing. Mine I'm having to press just a little bit just to make sure I have a nice secure fit with no gap. Okay, when you're comfortable that, that has glued properly, all you're going to do is put your refill in and screw the cap on. Alrighty. So that's all it takes to put those together. I want to give a special thanks to Patricia Castillo for doing all the legwork um, initially when uh, the pen idea um, was developed. She's the one that uh, found that the cigar tips worked really well for this and then we went ahead and we custom ordered them for you guys. So if you have any questions, make sure you give us a call, write us an email, or send us a Facebook message and we will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.